Hi, I want to introduce you a new Blender add-on called Simply Tear. It's mainly developed by Omit Botby and as a co-creator me. So this add-on is so cool because it's simple, it's small and it creates realistic results. So let's start without talking too much. Thank you for Omit because he make an own tiering algorithm here. So we create um, realistic tierings. So we start adding a plane, go over in edit mode and you can see we have small function like subdivide. That's it. That's enough. But we want to simulate the clothes and the tierings. We need, we see nothing happens if we play the animation uh, button. We need to have a fast cloth. So that's it. We hit one button, we have cloth. But we need to pin sometimes, like here, here and here. And you see, if we have a fast cloth, we can pin it very fast. That's it. And for this section, we have few parameters like shrinking, gravity, and stiffness. Yeah? So it's depending what you need. Of course, we can make pressure, self-collision, but for now we don't need it. I will show you the main parts, what Omid created. We have here the methods, the tiering methods. It is projection. It's the most common way to uh, cut through your mesh. So this is the fastest and most best results. The imbalance is best for gaming um, because it is like not destroying the topology of the low resolution mesh. It is like connecting it and it, it will be the best for games or game objects. And localized is um, like an adaptive polygon which is cut inside this uh, drawing but it leaves some holes and it creates a nice effect this is the methods what you can choose anyway but we have some presets like raw regular and sharp so it will select all the settings for you depending what you need but the most way is regular is okay and then you can play with the select threshold resolution adaptive polygons turn on or turn off uh, proximity of the adaptive polygons which will be subdivided around the cut and the softness of course cut through if you have a sphere or a cube but for now let's start let's have fun so i can show you like without adaptive polygon and with okay so we make like one cut here very fast we go over to wireframe mode and check what's happened. Okay, it is destroying the, the topology. So I recommend to make a backup anyway of the base mesh you have and then use the tiering tool. Then we go over to adaptive polygon. We can play with the proximity. I will show you now. We make here a cut. You see it is taking 005. It's like this amount of um distance we can make it one we can again test and you see it is less but it will less cut you see some parts will be not cutted so we can test it directly if we just hit play you see and of course depending of the of the proximity you will see different results i turn on self collision to get much more realistic result, so there is no intersection. And we see it's working very, very nice. So the next point will be raw. So if we go over raw and I make a cut, I turn on the wireframe again and finish it. You see it's more raw than this. It will uh, remove more or delete more edges around. It will create um more raw results in the cutting but sometimes people need a very sharp cut through so we can make a very sharp cut we make it like here and we make it like here 
but be aware of the resolution of your base mesh. Imbalance is the most, uh, like not difficult, but the most which is taking performance. So it will be slow in depending what kind of mesh you have. And of course the resolution you, you have to here. So we recommend 500, but, but 250 is great too. And we finish it by just now waiting a few seconds and you see how it is creating the topology around it. It is not destroying it, it's just cutting through. Very nice. And the results are amazing. You see how clear cut we have here. So if I turn off the gravity a little bit, not that much. We can see how the cut effect, how the first cut effect without adaptive polygons. You see, we have like this one, yeah, but this first, no. And we see it's more clear, more clear cut here than here. So depending on the levels you have, like this, we can make two, we can make a cut here. You see, we have a little bit more. It creates around these nice wrinkles, which is creating more realistic effects here. Yeah, so the gravity is set to 0, 0, 003, you can make it less, so it will fall a bit. But you see what it's doing here. If we go over to localized and just draw th something, I will show you now how this is affecting. I can make this, this, this. And you see, it's not cut that much. That's the point, what I mean. It creates like holes, which is very nice. So there is a cut, but it's not cut completely through. This is important sometimes too. And again, make it like here. And we see nice results. You see? Like in the parts where the tearing is most, like here, we can give them more details. Yeah? So I show you now all the methods and the presets, and now it's up to you. So the other point will be, if we add an, um, if we add realistic drawings now, for example, I go over again, plane, scale it up a little, subdivide a few times, make fast cloth, and you see where it is. Just refreshes, refresh it here. Go over here, make a very basic, perhaps you can make here, pin, and self collision. Now we can see what happened. Yeah, great. It's falling to the wrong direction, man. This is not good. So I make it like this. Yes. And we go over very easy. Adaptive polygons one. The distance was good. We cut like here. Little bit try to think realistic. Okay. We test it directly here. Uh huh. First result is good. It's okay. But it's too less for me. I need to have more. More results. I just make something like this. This will create interesting results. You see? So if it's not cutting that much through, it's depending on the proximity here. Or the select threshold. You need to test what you want. I make this. A few of these. So we can try to cut this out. And you see how this is working. Very nice. But here I really need to make sure I want to cut now. It's already depending to your settings. 
and you see what we created here in few seconds perhaps one minute i don't know so here we have less something like this something like that yeah great that's what i want perhaps it need to cut somewhere here something like that we see completely new results here and this is very fast so of course if you add more resolution to your object and make it like insane inside the the tearings you will be having a new kind of mesh inside blender where you can add more realism to your scene or to the character or whatever so like we have a battle or it's for horror game something you can just play around with this and create a very fast nice results just playing around doing something and testing now depending on which how much slices you have so it will be create more polygons if you have subdivided on you see it inside here so if we turn on again here you see it around the cuts it will, will be this kind of margin or yes margin or distance which is giving the tearings more resolution so you have better quality of it so just look at this so the performance of course will go a little bit down depending on the resolution but it is worth it is worth because look at this this is amazing i really like this so some people can add solidify to it and make it like zero one is it okay i don't know and so you have thickness and you have a realistic result so if you put in here a bit cavity screen space we can see more the effect of it of course subsurface level you can add and that's it look at this let's try to have a character on it here i prepare a character base mesh with clothing from kagi vision you will find it in my page too yeah and we add here like on um, collision and this will be fast cloth and that's it oh it's a little bit high res too high res so we need to make sure we don't disturb disturb it now it's okay Sometimes you need to adjust the collisions like this and from the from the character too. Something like that. Yeah, that's okay. And now we can start tearing it. Okay? So we have this kind of resolution which is great. And we start selecting regular, one adaptive level, perhaps less polygon in the proximity uh, less uh, value and just testing we make one cut here and one cut there how this will be effect amazing so fast and so easy okay a little bit selection threshold less i make this more bigger cuts at the bottom part amazing i really like this perhaps on the back side someone tried to hit him with a sword like this okay good additionally perhaps a dog tried to bite him like here in this area 
or just put completely tear, uh, tearing the claws here side. Something like that. And here he had a small uh, like mistake, something. Great. We create re really, really fast, nice results. We don't need to set up some difficult stuff. We can use it directly here. And what we can do else? I'm just using the regular parts, so what we can make this and this. So this is completely going. Not completely, but it's going. And look at these fast results. This is amazing. I'm really impressed by it. Thanks to Omid Godby who developed this main algorithm here. I can make it uh, the UI for it. And we have a nice, uh, very useful add-on. So let's make a bit of performance testing here. So I want to cut, cut here a clean cut. A less resolution, it's okay. And this is a bit more of calculation, but it's anyway fast. You see how clean the cut is. You see this? If you compare it to the different, to the other ones. Then I want to give here more. Something like that. Now I go crazy. I am crazy now. Just look at this. Completely tearing off the cloth. Look at this. I am impressed. I'm so impressed because the results are great. So this is a bit of quality. We need to adjust it. And again. So it will not intersect the cloth, uh, the character. But we see how this is affecting all the simulation look at this completely gone that's the way you can work i hope you like it check it out in the super hive marketplace and have fun